You probably didn't buy your Chromebook because of the webcam, but you might be surprised by some of the cool things you can do with the camera app on your Chromebook. I'd like to thank Akio Labs for sponsoring this video, portions of which I am recording using their new A10 webcam. It works great with Chromebooks. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. You can record in 4K and this A10 webcam has a super cool auto framing feature that will make sure that you are always in the center of the shot. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hi, my name is John Silwash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Let's go ahead and open up the camera app on our Chromebook. I'm gonna click on the app launcher in the bottom left corner of the screen and look for or search for camera. Now I use the camera app a lot, so I have chosen to pin the app to the shelf. That's the black bar at the bottom of my Chromebook. You can do the same if you want, just right click on the app and say pin to shelf. Let's go ahead and open it up and you should see yourself right in the camera. If your camera does not turn on, there may be a very simple easy fix. A lot of Chromebooks are coming with a privacy switch or privacy screen for the webcam that allows you to physically disable the camera when you're not using it. So if you don't see the camera activate immediately, look up right by the webcam. So right in the center of your screen, you should see a light um, and there might be a screen or a switch that you have to toggle on to activate the camera. This is an HP Chromebook and the switch is actually on the left side, kind of by the power and volume button. And um, one time I accidentally bumped the switch and for days, I could not figure out why my camera wasn't working. I thought it was broken, but all you have to do is flip that switch back and you're, uh, you're back in business. Now there are four modes to your camera. You have video, photo, square, and scan. Let's talk about photo first. Uh, if you wanna take a picture, just click the white button and it'll snap it. You'll see a preview of the photo that you just took in the bottom right corner. You can click on it. And this is the picture that I just took not the best. And you can do all kinds of interesting things right from here. Uh, you can actually annotate uh, right on the screen, which is kind of fun. Um, you can adjust the contrast, you can crop and rotate, just do some basic, very simple um, image editing. Now, if you're um, interested in a few additional options, uh, we can turn on the grid which allows us to you know, see the thirds, kind of uh, the golden ratio uh, for taking photos. Uh, we can mirror our image if you're holding up text and you wanna be able to read it, that's very helpful. And then there's also a timer, which is um, nice. I taught science and so sometimes my students would um, you know, wanna take a picture of a physical thing, but they need a second to position it. So turn on the timer, click the shutter, and then you'll get a three second countdown that gives you time to hold and position the camera as needed. Now, a lot of Chromebooks are coming with two cameras now. You have your regular webcam, and then you have what's called a world-facing camera that'll be usually by the trackpad or down here, which allows you to fold your Chromebook into tablet mode, use the screen as a viewfinder, and point it. So a lot of uh, Chromebooks like um, some HP, some classroom Chromebooks, um, CTL Chromebooks include two cameras. I only have one camera on this particular Chromebook, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a second by plugging in this external webcam. Chromebooks work very well with external cameras. You know, I do a lot of webinars and videos like this, and so having a really good, high quality, high resolution webcam is something that's very important to me. Chromebooks don't come with super high quality webcams, so adding one is really beneficial. If you have two cameras, you will see a little arrow button in the bottom left, and this allows you to switch between your different cameras. So this is the um, A10 webcam from Akio Labs. Uh, shoots in 4K, which is really nice. Uh, much higher resolution than um, a Chromebook webcam, which only uh, shoots at 720p, uh, which is considered high res, but not really. It's pretty, pretty low. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to video mode now. 
and we'll play around with that for a little bit. Video mode works, you know, just like photos. You get the, the image how you like it. You can mirror, timer, all of that stuff. Uh, click recording. We've got our countdown and now we're recording this and this is going to eventually be saved into our downloads folder. One really fun thing that you can do when you're in video mode is take an animated GIF. So I'm gonna switch from normal mode to GIF mode, and this allows you to take up to a five second video. It's technically an image, but it moves. And you can do some fun things with this. Let me uh, do one, I'm gonna count down. to up to five seconds and then it just loops over and over again. So you now have the ability to create your own viral animated GIFs uh, using your Chromebook camera. You can save and share that wherever you like. So we looked at video mode, looked at uh, photo mode. Now square mode is really just a slight variation to the typical photo mode we just looked at. So it just gives square photos, but you've got all the same options uh, that you can see on the screen. I want to head over next to the scan mode. Now scan is pretty cool. You can scan two different things. You can scan documents or QR codes. I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it. And I'm going to hold up um, just a, a piece of paper or anything with text on it. And this uses an algorithm to identify the edges of the thing that you are scanning. Um, and so you do that, you hit the shutter button, timer is helpful, and it will automatically look for and hopefully find the edges of that document. So I can save that as a, a PDF and email it as an attachment or something like that. And if you click on the fix button, you're able to recrop. So if it doesn't you know, quite get the um, edges, the corners, um, as it should, you can make that, uh, that adjustment. And you can always go in and adjust the contrast and other things as well. Is it as good as a scanner or your camera? No, probably not. But is it a fine uh, option for you know, a sixth grader to scan their math homework? Probably. Let's take a look at the QR code scanner next. I'm gonna close uh, that up. We're gonna hit the scan button on the camera app one more time, and this time we're gonna head over to QR code. Now this is a really nice option to consider. Here's a QR code on my phone. I'm just gonna hold that up. You can see it's pretty quick and accurate. Um, it doesn't, I don't have to get super close, and then the blue text will appear, and that'll actually take me to whatever website is included with uh, the, in that particular QR code. One thing I want to show you is how to allow a website to access your Chromebook camera. So this is a, a fun website called Webcam Toy. It was actually designed by a Google engineer. This is a Chrome experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and just visit webcamtoy.com, use my camera, and you're going to see, if it's the first time you visited this particular site, you're going to see a notification that says, do you want this site to use your camera? Now, typically you say yes. Now, you may have said block or just click the wrong button at one time or something, and it's not working. If you cannot get a website to access your camera, I want to show you how to fix that. Click on the lock symbol on the URL bar. So right, right back here, I'm going to click on that lock, and we're going to go down to site settings. These are all of the permissions that this site has to use various resources on your computer. We want to go to camera, and if it is set to block or perhaps ask, you can say allow. Close that page. It'll prompt you to reload the page you were just on, and now your camera should work. This is true of websites like Zoom or Google Meet. If your camera is not working, click that lock symbol to make sure that the application has access to your webcam. Webcam Toy is a fun kind of Instagram-y uh, type um, application. Doesn't require any installations or no extension. You just load it up and it's got all kinds of fun effects for using your camera. Now, once you have taken a bunch of pictures, either using something like Webcam Toy or through the Chromebook camera app itself, you're going to want to know, where did my pictures go? How do I get them and where should I put them? Your photos 
are hidden in the Files app. So again, just like with the camera, we're going to click the App Launcher, search for Files. I also pin this one to the shelf. And the photos you've taken will be in the Camera folder, if you will, um, right underneath My Files. And from here, you can open, rename, delete, move, etc. These files are saved locally on your Chromebook. If you want the photos, I would strongly encourage you to upload them to either Google Photos or Google Drive for safekeeping. Um, these files are not accessible anywhere else other than on this device until you upload them to uh, another location. If you have enjoyed this overview of the Chromebook camera, I think you'll enjoy my advanced Chromebook playlist, which you can access up here. And I would love for you to check out the brand new app called Screencast for Chromebooks, which will allow you to record awesome videos and to share them with your students. If you're interested in learning more, check out the video down below.